And Mike, uh, Mike Pence, the vice president, called Florida the leader in distance and e-learning. But we know it hasn't been easy. Both Pinellas and Hillsborough County struggled with some tech issues the first few days. We spoke with several Bay Area students about what this process has been like so far. We've been e-learning for about two weeks now. For me, it's been pretty easy to access everything online. Oh my God, it's loading. It's like the Teams website. We use Microsoft Teams. And everyone's just been having some problems with it, but the teachers are really understanding and everyone communicates. So it's been a lot better. Advice that I'd give to a student um, that's new to online learning to just go on the website and press all the tabs, um, look through everything, try to learn that uh, platform. I would get on Edsby uh, between the hours that aren't their busy hours, which I think are from like 8 to 3, because Edsby tends to crash a lot, and so you have to like make your schedule around it so you can like access everything. I definitely like the flexibility of it. Sometimes, like, I have to go work out or go to go to my job and, you know, do that so we can really just do our work whenever we really want to. Uh, just it has to be within that day, so that's, yeah. that's just the flexibility really helps. Point five the positive of e-learning is you get to work at your own pace. My positive has to be just that you can really communicate with the teachers. Like, you can have a one-on-one -on -one with them, like, separately. You don't have to just talk with the entire class. So, like, I definitely think I'm doing better on e-learning. The way I would sum it up really is just like a new experience. We just have to adapt, basically. Like, this is definitely temporary. It's been a challenge, but it just has some positives. Really great to hear their perspective and how much those kids are embracing learning from home. Now, right now, many Bay Area school districts are also helping feed families as well if they need food on the table. Head to summerbreakspot.org. There you can type in your address and find a site near you.